Wealthy people want to use their money to grow their wealth, while most Americans want to use their money to drive a fast car. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is I got a video from off of a Minority Mindset. Minority mindset. If y'all get a chance, go over, throw a like on his channel. I'll leave the video, uh, the link to the video in the description box. And um, yeah, y'all go check his channel. I'll make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. But I thought that he was talking about some interesting things. He was kind of touching on some topics that I touched on over here on Flare Trucking. And yeah, I told y'all, I keep letting y'all know and keep forewarning y'all on these things that's going to happen. Send these videos out to some of your friends. Send these videos out to some loved ones. Send this out to someone who is trying to get their money right. Send this out to someone who's trying to build some wealth and let them know what's really going on out here. You know what I'm saying? Just go back, look at some of the videos, some of my previous videos that I have dropped, and you'll see we're kind of touching on the same topics or the same subjects and stuff of that nature. But make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like button i'm gonna go ahead and get into this video and y'all tell me what y'all think i'll come back at the end and let y'all know what i think and give y'all my take the pandemic era boom of fake rich americans are starting to go broke between 2020 and 2021 rolex prices were booming luxury car prices were breaking new record highs and art prices could not be controlled well now it looks like that boom is starting to go bust in 2020 and 2021 not only were you seeing rolex prices booming but you couldn't even get your hands on a rolex even if you were willing to pay thousands of dollars over asking price because the wait list for a rolex was so long this booming demand for a rolex naturally drove up the price of a rolex watch between the years 2020 and 2022 this is a chart from watchcharts.com and you can see that between 2020 and 2022 the prices of a rolex started soaring high and then this is what has been happening with Rolex prices ever since. You can see Rolex prices have been tanking. Why are Rolex prices falling so fast? Because if you paid $35,000 for a watch two years ago and now you're struggling to pay your bills, the simplest thing to do is just sell your watch and this has created a whole new boom or tidal wave of sellers of Rolexes in the market, causing the prices of Rolexes to fall. Luxury cars were another hot commodity in 2020 and 2021 and I'm not talking about the people that went out and paid $5,000 over MSRP to go and buy a new Jeep. I'm talking about the people that were paying tens of thousands of dollars as a premium to get their hands on a G-Wagon or a Lamborghini during the free money days of 2020 and 2021. And the reason why this is so crazy is because even if you were willing to pay $50,000 over asking price for a new G-Wagon or a Lamborghini, you still couldn't even get one because dealerships were so backed up with orders that they ran out of all their inventory until 2024 back in 2021. Not to mention that you're also seeing the recent value of g-wagons and some other luxury cars beginning to fall and then you have art yes art we saw art prices grow to new record heights at record speeds in 2020 and 2021 as one of the top places for rich people or fake rich people to store their new wealth Today, we're seeing a lot of art prices come back down to earth as art investors are now reassessing how much money they want to have tied up in art. But the real question here is what's causing this change in the economy and our money environment? And if we go back to this Rolex chart right here on the screen, you'll see that Rolex prices started to really peak and shift in March of 2022. So the question is, what happened in March 2022? Well, March 2022 was when the free money ended because March 2022 was when the Federal Reserve Bank finally started raising interest rates for the first time in years. Now, this is a very important economic concept to understand. But what we saw happen before 2022 was that when 2020 hit and the pandemic shut down the economy, we saw a lot of quantitative easing, stimulus, and money printing, which means the government and the Federal Reserve Bank were printing and spending money like crazy, and this was flooding our economy with tons of free and easy to access dollars, whether it's in the form of loans, whether it's in the form of grants, whether it's in the form of some sort of stimulus, 
This money was entering our economy, which meant people were getting more money. Now, if people were getting more money, that meant people had more ability to spend. But that shift really stopped in 2022 because that was when inflation started to become a problem. And that was when the Federal Reserve Bank began their war on inflation, which was the hiking interest rates. And then came March of 2022, which was when they realized we put out too much money and now we need to take this spending back. And that was when they started their fight on inflation by raising interest rates. Now, between that part of 2022 and today, the Federal Reserve Bank has raised interest rates very aggressively. The only other time that they have raised interest rates this rapidly was back in 1981. And so now we have seen the interest rates rise very quickly, which means the Federal Reserve Bank has been working to cool down demand. They've been working to cool down spending. They've been working to cool down the economy, which means if you had access to this free and cheap and easy money and you didn't really know how to build true wealth, but you finally got a little bit of money in your pocket, you wanted to do what everybody else does with their money, which is show it off. Because what most people do is when they make money, they want to spend it. And so if you were able to make any decent chunk of change, you wanted to show it off. Maybe you made this money in cryptocurrency. Maybe you made this money in your business. Maybe you got a big raise in your job. Maybe you sold a business. People were able to get more money in whatever ways they could. And because now they had more money, if you didn't have that financial education and you were not putting this money in assets, you were going out and spending this money, which meant anybody with a little bit of money was going out and buying a watch. Anybody with a little bit more money was going out and buying cars. And anybody with even more money was going out and buying fancy art. Now we're seeing things change. The Federal Reserve Bank is still aggressively working to fight inflation because, well, inflation has not really started going down steadily. In fact, our most recent inflation report said that inflation has been rising the last few months. And now because of that, interest rates have gone up so much, which has made borrowing money more expensive, which has made spending money a little bit more difficult, which has slowed down the economy. Now, have we seen spending slow down significantly? No, we're still seeing people spend money. But people are now realizing, okay, my housing costs are a lot more expensive. My grocery costs are more expensive. My travel costs are more expensive. Everything that I want to buy is more expensive. And I don't want to keep having to cut back on my lifestyle. So I need more money in order to continue funding my stuff. So now we are hitting a completely different point in the economy, like this fluctuation in the economy where now we went from people just spending money to now people are cutting back on their spending. People are having to pay down some of their debts. People are having to make more financially smarter decisions. Now you making a financially smarter decision is good for your wallet. It's good for your personal wealth, but it's not good for the economy because if you're not spending money, Rolex isn't making money. If you're not going out and buying new cars, G-Wagons are not making money. Mercedes is not making money. And so this is where you have to understand that in the economy, spending is great. In the economy, you going into debt is great. In the economy, you maxing out your credit card is great because that means you are keeping the economy booming. But for your personal financial situation, that's not good. And this is where understanding now, you have to be able to protect yourself financially. And that means you have to understand how the economy works. And that means you have to understand how our economic system works. And that means you have to understand how to build wealth too. And that means you have to understand how do you spend money? Because if you spend every dollar that you earn, you're never gonna have a chance to build wealth. And this is one of the reasons why most Americans are broke. It's not because they're not making enough money, although some people are not making enough money. It's because most people have no idea of what to do with the money that they get. How much does, how much does this car cost? Oh, call it a milli. Yeah. $900. Wow. But well, we're just gonna round up with taxes, right? Yup. Yeah. Special car, man. Only 350 in the world. Yeah. How, Viola SE30. So how, how do they know about how, oh, right here? Yep, here we go. You can see right here, you got a plaque. It's number one of 350. They're not exactly numbered to each car, but they are numbered to 350. Wow, bro. Yeah, this is the last fully combusted Lamborghini V12 that they'll make. Flat truckers, what did I tell y'all? The days of those COVID release funds is starting to dwindle down. So like I said, hold on to your money. Save it up. You might be able to get you a Lambo or Rolex or a nice huge house for little or nothing because they're going to start foreclosing on a lot of this stuff. A lot of these people are going to start selling these things for the cheap. So continue to pay attention to the channel, man, and I'll keep y'all updated. And make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be in the note each time we drop a video.
runaway child and we are what y'all wanna do, man? Y'all wanna let go? Let's go.